Okay, I think it's safe to talk now. Hi everybody, I'm Hugh Janus. Thank you for coming to watch this video. Today I'm going to talk about dating Filipino women and some things that you can expect. In particular, the raging hormones and monstrous PMS. Filipinas are truly beautiful women. Hospitable, passionate, petite, loving, caring women. With their tanned complexion, soft black eyes and hair, caring personalities, it's no wonder it's so easy to fall in love with them. But today's video is not about the reasons you should want to date or marry a Filipino woman. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you're already dating one, or are at least interested in doing so. Today's video is to talk about the other side of Filipino women, mainly dealing with their periods and PMS. It is the most atrocious and horrifying time of the month, and you're going to need some life skills in order to survive it. Unlike many Western or American women who will take a form of birth control, not just to prevent pregnancy but also to balance their hormones, pharmaceutical medication is not really looked highly upon in many Asian cultures, including the Philippines. They prefer a more natural approach to dealing with internal imbalances and medical remedies. So don't expect your Filipina girlfriend to go on the pill to avoid being a bitch for the few days of a month. She expects you to be understanding and to help her deal with it. Get ready for the roller coaster ride. It's full of twists and turns, loops and drops, headaches and frustrations, and hair pulling moments. Just when you think you've got her calmed down, a single word will set her off on a raging tangent that can and will last for hours. Don't think about running away until it's over. She will hunt you down. She will find you and make your life hell until you do the one thing she really wants. Submit. Don't think you can reason with her. She will be irrational. She is going to tell you what to do and say. These are the brief moments when she's in control and giving you instructions on how to make it stop. Don't take it personally, as if she's telling you what to do to be a better person. She knows Lucifer is inside of her, spewing hell from her mouth and eyes. So when she is telling you what to do and say, don't take it personal. Don't ask why. Don't argue. Just say, yes, dear, and do whatever it is. Any resistance or deviation will only make the hellfire burn hotter and prolong your suffering. You need to pull your balls up into your sack and forget that you're a man because right now she hates men. You're the reason she feels like this, regardless of what you've done. So let go of your ego, let go of any sense of reasoning, and just say yes, even if you don't agree with what you're saying yes to. Tell her she's beautiful. Tell her you love her. Compliment the shit out of her. And when she's yelling at you for whatever reason, don't say a word. The devil is coming out of her mouth. She doesn't mean what she's saying, so don't take it personally. Don't offer suggestions on how to make it better. Never tell her to calm down. Don't call the church for an exorcism that's only throwing fuel onto the fire. What you really need to do when you know she's PMSing is go to the doctor and get yourself a big fat prescription for Xanax or Klonopin. And not the wimpy dose. Get the tens or the threes and take two or three at a time. Also get some Tylenol and take a few before the day begins. Just breathe deep and be calm. Soon the hurricane will pass, but just as soon as it does, get ready for the next wave because it generally lasts for a few days. Okay, so that's how to deal with her when the devil is inside of her and hell is being unleashed upon you. It's not always like this. Sometimes it's different. Sometimes she will be sad. This time it's easy to deal with. Just lay on the couch with her, watch some sappy chick flick, and feed her dark chocolate. Don't try to give her milk chocolate. Get your ass up and go to the store and get some dark chocolate. Otherwise, you will unleash the monster mentioned earlier and deal with days of hellfire burning you every time you open your mouth. Just be extra sweet to her and give her what she wants. 
Other times, she'll be horny all the time. This is your chance to get all the penai pookie you can handle. Again, be very, very, very careful what you say. She has the ability to stop you mid-stroke, grow horns, and magically obtain a pitchfork, which she will pierce through your lower intestines and twist in the blink of an eye. So to wrap up this video, I'll make it simple. When your Filipino woman, wife, girlfriend, whatever she is to you, is PMSing, just do whatever she says to do and you'll be fine. Listen to her. She's not telling you how to be the perfect man. She's telling you how to help her fight her hormones. When it comes to fighting them, if you do not listen to her and follow her instructions, you will not win. You will end up tired, exhausted, bald, and wondering where your loving, beautiful Filipina has gone. Suddenly you are facing the devil and getting your ass rammed harder than you ever imagined. This is all learned from my experience with my Filipino girlfriend through trial and error. I have to dress like this and use a different name because I am terrified if she finds out I am talking about this to you. Hell hath no fury. Tell me what you think or share your own experiences in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with this video and be sure to subscribe if you want more advice and life experience to help save your ass when your beautiful Filipina turns into Lucifer. I'm Hugh Janus. Thank you for watching.